Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm Josh Meyer of joshmeyervo.com. I'm a professional voice talent. I've done over 3,000 paid voiceovers. I got into that through writing music, and I just so happen to be an expert in audacity. And today, we are going to talk about something a little bit different, and we're going to touch on the mind game of voiceover. I'm going to share with you an elevated thought, and we're going to touch on voice confrontation. So first and foremost, elevated thought. We're all familiar with deja vu, and a lot of us view this as a sort of psychic ability or a memory of a psychic ability. But I believe that deja vu is really a testament to our ability to bring to fruition what lies within our mind's eye via the law of attraction. I want you to ponder that for a moment. Tony Robbins said something like this, and if you're not familiar, he is wildly successful. Um, he's got banana hands. He's a huge dude, uh, but he's a, I, what I believe to be a, a really, really good man. But um, he says something like this, where focus goes, energy flows. And there's also studies that show this is true, and they will teach race car drivers to, when they are about to crash and they're coming around a curve, instead of looking at the wall that you may crash into, focus on where you want to go. And studies show that this works. They literally teach race car drivers to do this. Not only does this work in driving race cars, but it works in your life, your life period. When I first got started in voiceover, I imagined this beautiful home studio and I had a detailed picture in my mind of, of exactly what it looked like. And as time went on, lo and behold, it literally came to life before my eyes. That's the law of attraction. Now, a lot of people don't give themselves enough credit. And a lot of people think that I can't do this. You know, I don't have the mind for this. Well, I beg to differ. Because if you've ever had deja vu, then you have the ability to bring to fruition what is in your mind's eye. And what I mean by that is that we're not having a psychic episode of any sort. We saw something in our mind and it looked familiar in this present moment because we saw it before and we brought it to life. Eureka. So the self-doubt is real and we all have it. We all have it. And there's constantly a negative narrative in the back of our minds. So I think half the battle is just recognizing that in the first place. And if we can water the most beautiful seeds in our garden, the most beautiful thoughts we have and give those the most attention, then we will get that. If you want to be successful in voiceover or anything in your life, let's put some focus on it and bring it to life. There's a book called As a Man Thinketh. Um, and these days it would probably be called as a person thinketh gender neutral, but this is not a new idea. And some of the most successful individuals in the world know this to be true. And it's unfortunate that I found out later in life, but dang, I'm fortunate that I now have a really strong understanding of myself and the human condition. We all have a negative narrative in the back of our minds. And the more we think about it, the more attention we give to it, the more our worst nightmares become reality. But lucky for us, the opposite happens to be true as well. Let's focus on the most beautiful seeds in our garden. Let's imagine something in such vivid detail 
to the creases and curves to the feelings that it generates and it will come to life it will come to life you hang in there you stay tenacious you keep it on your mind and there's no way that it won't happen so let's talk about voice confrontation what is voice confrontation so are we familiar when all right so let me let me put it like this a lot of people when they hear their voice recorded really dislike their voice just really dislike the sound of their voice and there is a term for it it's called voice confrontation so touching on this briefly why is it so why is it so well it's incredibly common and the reason for that being is that when we hear ourselves speak prior to hearing a recording of ourselves we sound different we sound different when we speak than other people hear us. We sound much different. And the reason for that is when we speak, we hear our voice through the conduction of our bones. And that gives it a bit more of a lower frequency. So long story short, um, when we hear the recorded version of our voice, it tends to sound a bit more high-pitched. So, because it's not sounding the way that we expect it to sound, we, we don't like it. And on top of that, here's some more deep psychology surrounding this. It's when we hear our voice, we know intimately how we sound when we feel certain ways so that so so what i'm saying is that if we speak to somebody and we're feeling anxious or angry or something like that the person listening may not pick up on that at all but when we hear our voice we can tell that we were feeling anxious or angry or whatever that feeling may be and we feel vulnerable right it's almost like oh my gosh i didn't realize that that like i wasn't just wearing it on my sleeve like my entire shirt was off and everyone knows you know um so i think it's a level of vulnerability that can make people uncomfortable on a deep level you know so it's called voice confrontation and that is the reason why <laughs> most people don't like the sound of their own voice the confrontation is is this isn't what i was expecting oh my gosh everyone can tell i was nervous i sound like mickey mouse let me put it like this if you don't like your voice and you think that there's not a place for you in voiceover let's talk about a man named gilbert Gottfried. and if you're not familiar with him look him up he is like he has the most annoying voice in the world and this guy was wildly successful, wildly successful. So if you think your voice sucks, then you're wrong. There's a market for you. There's a market for everyone. If Gilbert Gottfried could be the voice of Aflac, <laughs> Aflac, well then <laughs> there's definitely a market for you. So I will just end on that. If Gilbert Gottfried can do it, you definitely can do it. I mean, goodness gracious, this guy sounds shrieking. It's crazy. It's horrible. So we'll just end on that. And I'm wishing you all the best. And I really want you to ponder some of the thoughts that I laid down today. Because they're legit. This is real. This is real life. And this isn't just about voiceover. This mind game is about your life. So with that said... I hope you all have a beautiful day. Until next time, stay safe, stay positive. I got your back.